Thank you so much, Nigel. Thank you so much, Nigel. Anything else I can get for you? No, thank you. If you don't mind, I'm just going to wait for Clint. Okay? He may be very late. <laughs> that means he's with Dorian. I'm afraid he is. Which means he may not be back until the morning. Speak to Mr. Flint. I could ring him. No, and... no. Thank you very much, no. I, it was nothing specific anyway. I was... I was just hoping he might have had some thought as to how we might help Jessica. I don't know exactly how to ask this, but have they found a liver for her yet? No. But we are hopeful. Asa doesn't know, does he? Oh, we thought it better not to tell him yet, considering his condition. Yeah. We can tell him when the transplant is scheduled. I'm going to be tested in the morning. Well, the entire staff is. Nigel, that's so incredibly nice of you. Well, it's the least I can do. This family has been very generous to me. And Miss Jessica, so young and beautiful inside and out. Yes, she is. Oh, my God, that child has been through so much, Nigel. And if it weren't for me, none of it would have happened. <laughs> Mrs. Davidson, no. Please, anybody who knows you know you'd lay down your life for your children. And if it comes to that, I will. I'm terribly sorry for what you're all going through, Mrs. Davidson. But as Mr. Buchanan would say, Jessica is a Buchanan, which means she's got grit. Not that I'm absolutely certain what grit is, but I assume it's extremely helpful in fighting cancer. Yes, I think it probably is. And the Buchanans certainly have grit to spare. Oh, I do hope Mr. Buchanan won't be angry. I'm sure he'd have wanted to be tested to see if he was a compatible donor for her. He couldn't be. Because of his heart condition. They wouldn't allow it. They wouldn't even test him. That's what they told me, too. Mrs. Davidson, I know how you feel. But Miss Jessica wouldn't want to live if doing so required such a sacrifice. It's not her choice, he said. But you can't be a donor if the doctors won't test you, or did I misunderstand? Nigel, where there's a will, there's a way. And that goes double for me. You know, Nigel, when my children were little, I always thought if anything happened to them, I couldn't survive. And yet, when I think of everything that all of them have had to deal with in their lives... They wouldn't be the fine young men and women they are if they hadn't. But I still feel responsible. A mother is not supposed to let her child suffer. It's her job not to let that happen. I wonder can accomplish that, Mrs. Davidson. Try as we might, we can't always protect the people we love from pain. Well, I know that. I mean... I know it up here, but I look at my daughter, that beautiful child. She has her whole life ahead of her. She has everything to live for, and yet she's fighting for her life. And I might be able to help her. But there is a group of doctors who don't know us from Adam, and they presume to know whose life is worth more. Jessica needs more than an organ donor. You love her with all your heart. She needs that if she's going to survive this. Mother's love can be the best medicine of all. Trust me, Mrs. Davidson. She can't do this without you. Well, that was certainly the perfect thing to say. Thank you. I think I've kept you up long enough. I'm going to go. Thank you so much for the conversation. Oh, certainly. I'll let Mr. Clinton know that you were here. Thank you. Vicky, what are you doing here? I'll leave you two to talk. Take good care of yourself, Mrs. Davidson. Hi, Joe. Thank you for everything. Well, Nigel wasn't sure you'd be home this evening. Is there any news about Jessica? What? Oh, uh, I just... 
Wish things hadn't got so damn complicated. Which things are you talking about? Jessica and Nash. She's in love with him. Well, Clint, he's in love with her. I mean, he hasn't made that a secret, has he? And she loves him, too. Vicky, Jessica told Antonio that their marriage is over. When did that happen? Today, after you left. Oh, my God. That's... That's what she's been trying to say. What can we do about this? Well, there's nothing that we can do about it. There's nothing we can do about anything, apparently. I mean, we're... We're not completely helpless. I... I don't know what to do, but maybe if we put our heads together, we can come up with something. You are not. I mean, I can't even be, I mean, I can't even be a donor. We've done everything we can. I, I, it seems we're out of options here. Maybe there is something that we haven't thought of. Well, maybe there's an experimental procedure or something, that's, right? That's what I was thinking. There usually is, and the place to find that out is the National Institute of Health. Well, the banner must have a contact there. Yeah, you're right. Why don't you call, get some names. We'll put on a pot of coffee. Hey, Vicky, when I get back, we're going to go online. We're going to enter liver cancer. There's going to be hundreds of sites, and we're going to examine all of them together. At least we'll be doing something other than waiting. And maybe, maybe we'll find something that will help Jessica. <laughs>